Hey YouTube, today we'll be tearing down the OnePlus One. A lot of people have already torn this phone down, but one of our coworkers finally got talked into letting us tear down his phone. And by one of our coworkers, I mean me. So we're also trying a new camera angle in this video, so let us know what you think in the comments below. To start off, as always, we'll play with the phone a little bit, just slide around some of the menus and whatnot. Alright, let's shut this down and start taking it apart. First, we're going to remove the SIM tray with the SIM removal tool that OnePlus kindly supplied with the device. Then we'll pop the back cover with a screwdriver, just stick it into the AUX port and gently leverage out a gap. We used our case opening tool to run along the edge and help separate the back cover. Once it's loose, you can just pull it apart with your hands. Next, you'll need to get out your tweezers and remove the little rubber covers over the screws. You'll want to pay attention to the uh, rubber covers down here at the bottom of the phone. They're a different size than the other ones. Now that the screws are exposed, we'll start removing them. There's 15 in total. As you can see, these screws are just short Phillips head screws. At the bottom, we have two smaller Phillips head screws as well. You'll want to make sure during the uh, reassembly to remember that there's a size difference in the screws. Next, you'll want to grab your flathead tweezers and you can gently just slide them into the AUX port and use them to push up the cover so that you can get a hold and gently pry it off. Alright, now we'll use our spudger to disconnect all the flex cables connected to the main board. You'll need your case opening tool to remove the battery. 
it's stuck to the mid plate very securely with some strong adhesive. And we definitely recommend you going slowly and as gently as possible because you don't want to damage your battery. And we know it looks really easy in our video, but it's actually pretty difficult to remove it, so it'll take as long as you need to get it out. Now we're going to disconnect the last flex cable from the main board and uh, we'll remove the rear camera from the mid plate as well. There's some adhesive holding the camera in place so you'll need to gently pull on it to get the camera out. Next, with our tweezers, we'll remove the contacts for the volume and power buttons from the mid plate. Be very careful when pulling up with the uh, power button contact. There's a screw holding the board in place that is really easy to miss, and if you pull too hard on the power button, you're going to damage some of the components. Moving on, we'll remove that screw. And you can see that it's just another standard Phillips screw. Now we'll need our spudger to help us remove the main board. Be careful while removing the main board, there's an antenna connected to the back of it that you'll need to disconnect before completely removing it. The main board is compact and really tightly built, and there really isn't so much for us to remove from it. We can remove the uh, front facing camera though, and we'll use our spudger to do that. Now with our case opening tool we can remove the uh, cover over the charging port assembly. You can see the two loudspeakers attached to the cover but we won't be removing those. Next, we'll pull this tape up halfway, that way it's out of the way of the USB port and flex cable. Okay, and here we're removing the USB port and flex. And now we start pulling up the other flex cable that's attached to the rest of the charging assembly. 
Be careful of the small cable offshoot that is threaded under the midframe. With that flex cable up, we can start pulling the assembly loose a bit. And you want to slide your tweezers underneath the bottom assembly and gently work loose the adhesive holding it in. There are also some small offshoots that you want to be aware of as well. Now, before you remove that whole assembly, you'll need to disconnect the other end of that antenna we disconnected earlier. It can be really easy to miss. Once that antenna has been disconnected, you can just pull that assembly right out. Next, we'll remove this tape holding that antenna in, and once that tape's been removed, you can just pull the antenna right out. Now we're just going to remove the last piece from the mid plate, which is the ear speaker. And using your tweezers, you can just pull it right out. With all the components out, we can start removing the front assembly now. Before we do that though, near where the ear speaker was, there's a small plastic piece that's holding the flex in place. You'll want your tweezers to remove it. Now you can start heating the front assembly. You want to do that evenly for about one to two minutes and you don't want to heat any one side for too long. We then use a suction cup to pull the display up just a little bit and use a business card to kind of separate out the adhesive. This is pretty difficult and you want to be very, very careful. Our tech had a very hard time separating these parts the first time and you want to keep in mind that this is the second time the display is being removed. Be really careful near the top here as that flex connector from earlier is here and you can damage it if you're not careful.
Now with the adhesive separated, you can gently pull the display away from the mid plate and you want to go really slow. Here you can see the flex connector threaded to the mid plate. Make sure it doesn't get hooked on anything while you pull it out. And with that, we've finished our teardown for the OnePlus One. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also visit our site for more information. And thanks for watching, and until the next video, bye.